Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to share with you some of the experiences we have learned um, at VIU uh, about how to handle crisis with international students. Before I start, I would like to acknowledge that we are uh, sharing the land of the Snunemo people in Vancouver Island, and we are very proud of uh, being part of this uh, wonderful land where we teach and learn from each other. Okay, so the first thing I want to um, to show you is the title of our, this presentation, Navigating Uncertainty, Advising During Volatile, volatile Times. Um, the topic came out to be because we are certainly moving into difficult crisis times and that can happen at any, difficult, at any time in, in our lives. But as uh, educators, we have to handle things that happen across the world. We have students coming from all over the world. Um, the main thing here is to define what are we talking about, what type of crisis, what kind of situations uh, we are describing. So when we did this presentation with the audience, I then opened it to, to everybody to give us the input on what kind of situations they were thinking and uh, they were giving us the following uh, ideas. So we have here a few of the points that were done through um, Mentimeter, but in the next slide, I actually have the results that what everybody wrote. So <clears throat> we have many different types of crisis, and you probably already can come up with your own ideas as well. On top of the ones that you see in the screen, I will add something like uh, labor disruptions in our campus, <clears throat> which could happen. And probably some of you have lived through that as well. And um, basically anything that could happen is on a personal level for an individual student. Obviously, we are trying to handle here situations that affect a group of students and then how that could be an issue. Uh, as I said before, these are the ideas that were given to us by the participants during the webinar. <coughs> I'm hoping that you will always be that you can also access the deck for the PowerPoint so you can read this at your pleasure. I'll continue now with the definition of VUCA. VUCA is a very interesting uh, acronym from the United States that stands for Volatility, Uncertainty, Complexity, and Ambiguity. This is a military term that we are now using in the, in the academia to describe this type of situations. It's also being used in the healthcare professions. Um, we'll come back to VUCA a little bit later in the presentation. For now, I want to point some key roles that advisors can have during this type of situations. Um, I think leadership is vital. Many, uh, most of the time when situations like this happen, our students don't know where to go, who to turn for help. So I think the advisors uh, will have to quickly adapt and pivot and come up with some suggestions that the students, um, to give to the students and also clear leadership of where to go for help. Uh, effective communication is important, empathy and understanding, offering support and resources, advocate on behalf of the students. And that one is the one I will highlight the most because in many cases we will be the only people who will understand what's happening. I think in the world we live today, it, there is so fraction and we live kind of in our own bubble of information. We cannot assume everybody knows what's happening. So if there is a crisis happening in some parts of the world, you should be the one bringing it forward to the administration. Uh, don't assume that, oh, everybody must have heard uh, the crisis that started yesterday in Japan or the earthquake that was in Turkey or something like that. No, we will be the ones bringing this forward to the administration and hoping that that will help uh, uh, create awareness and mobilize some resources for our students. <clears throat> Finally, Maybe we know, I hope, that our campuses are safe places, but the students may not know that. Uh, we cannot assume people see the world the way we do. Uh, for example, uh, when a student see a police car or policeman or, or 
people in uniform, they may not have the same reaction as you may have as a Canadian person, or even um, white male will see the role of police in a very different way uh, than a person from a minority, even if you are from the same country. So this is something that we should keep in mind that we have to make it clear to students that campus is a safe place and our doors are open to listen to whatever concerns they may have. I think that's a very important role to have during a crisis. This is a good quote that I would like to remind uh, us. Uh, students are resilient, especially when supported. So yes, these students are people who have uh, overcome already lots of difficulties to make it here. They have left behind family and a network of support and friends, but they will need help in order to succeed. And that's where we come. That's our role. So I will say, uh, please keep in mind that uh, the students will do better if we are there to help them out. And during these extraordinary times, it's better to take a little bit of extra support and attention to for them to stay on track. <clears throat> Some ideas that we can use as takeaways for today. Share the information. Be open and advertise clear means of communication with the students and the community. Make good use of information technology. Share document drives using Microsoft Teams. Online communication and networks, for example, WhatsApp, that most students, uh, most of our international students are familiar with and they already use uh, very effectively. So create a WhatsApp group for communication. Create wikis and other collaborative sites where everybody can bring some information. That is an incredible way to, to pool the resources that we have not only the experts that we have on campus, but the students who are affected themselves. Remember, they have connections back home and they can tell you things that you cannot get from the mainstream news. So having the students helping out to build this week is very important. Blogging and storytelling, online storytelling, also a great, uh, is a great pedagogical tool, but also a, a great tool for helping students uh, onboard them and share their truth. So I will uh, highlight uh, storytelling as a great mechanism, both to, to share information, but also therapeutic uh, purposes with the students. Uh, online webinars and virtual meetings, as we are all very familiar these days, we can all use these important tools, either through Teams, Zoom, or any other software is available. <clears throat> Uh, keep an updated list of campus resources available, who handles public relations, lists of experts, etc., that you can tap into depending on whatever the circumstances are. Also, often dropping advice in times available to students at the onset of a conflict. Again, make yourself available and be very open and let the students know that you are there to listen. Sometimes we don't have solutions or answers to their questions, but just to offer a friendly uh, face and um, caring ear, it goes a long way in, with the students. Facilitating and guiding students to support available online campus, uh, on campus, sorry, supports available on campus and in the community. Um, the students may not know that there is a local temple, a local gurdwara, a local club that may help uh, with whatever the crisis may be at the time. And finally, make sure that this line, there are lines of communications between your office and your institutions, equivalent to a global crisis monitoring response team. This is an actual example that I'm bringing from VIU. We have this global crisis monitoring response team that uh, meets regularly, but obviously more frequently during times of crisis. So what they do is they keep an eye on the conflicts, natural disasters, or other things that are happening around the world and they prepare brief for the senior management and develop campus messages, etc. So this, uh, I believe, is a great idea and is something that we'll hopefully we can all uh, bring up to our own institutions. So I told you I was going to bring VUCA back, but this one, this one, uh, this time with an answer to each of those aspects: to volatility, vision. So remember, leadership is important. Is the person guiding the, the the troops? Is the person that goes in front and tell them where to go? So that could be uh, the answer to a volatile, a, vol a volatile situation. For uncertainty, understanding <clears throat> and understanding of the situation, what is actually happening, not just what the media is bringing, 
and how students may feel about the different situations. For complexity, clarity, um, well, that is one self-explanatory, and for ambiguity, agility. Um, sometimes the hesitating, doubting, and um, waiting may be the worst thing that could happen. And it's very important that we are on top of things and react quickly. We have seen many examples in other universities and other institutions where waiting just created, made the problem worse and created problems where there wasn't much to start with. So uh, finally, <clears throat> I asked the, the participants to bring some ideas of what had worked in the institutions and what didn't. So first, uh, some ideas that they brought forward of what worked. Here is uh, 13 responses we got from our participants. Empathetic communication, our institution, especially the department head, will, com will communicate the situation clearly to the email listserv. There is potential to do, number three, there's potential to do things better when they look to subject matter knowledge holders in the institution instead of simply thinking about a careful communication strategy. And that's so important. Uh, sometimes our administration is too careful and too cautious and we waste precious time by doing that. Number four, the Accent School of Management tells us that as we do not have an on-campus accommodation, we started a housing program to serve our students better and address the housing issue, pre-arrival webinars, partnerships. Number five, big institutions react slow. Six, prepare support and directions how to receive it. Number seven, target directly affected students differently from their remaining audience. Number eight, don't come empty-handed, have something effective. So these are great ideas brought by the participants. And then I work, uh, oh, sorry, there's more. <laughs> Number nine, coordinate with stakeholders, share what is going to be announced with service providers to be ready for what's coming. From KPU, KPU, we have some ideas. With so many crises happening now, the President's Office will usually send email messages to the university community with resources in a timely manner. It's more normal to receive this now. Also for COVID-19, <clears throat> we all went through that. So here's some ideas, some examples. The Student Life team created a COVID-19 travel page and updated throughout the pandemic to help students with travel letters and more instructions. Also during COVID-19, students staying in residence who needed to be isolated, received an invitation for online wellness check-ins by volunteers from the school community, staff, students, and peers. And finally, during COVID-19, advisory advisors did a very good job of reaching out to students, checking in through a video conference sessions, CTU, we also had a dedicated web page with useful and fun activities. <clears throat> okay, so what missed the mark? Uh, what didn't work during those situations? We have fewer responses in this one. We only have 10. Our institution did not communicate the, the changes of IRCC policy creating panic for international students. And we are going through that right now. BLM. The institution was slow to respond with significant action. Initial discussion by the communication by the community tended to center in a U.S. issue. By the way, this is Black Lives Matter uh, movements that happened during COVID. Black community members may not have felt genuine, genuine support. Number three, not providing adequate adequate resources for students in need, both within the university and in broader community. Number four, have an integrated strategic vision that includes frontline advice and input. I think uh, many of our institutions fail to include uh, the frontline advice and um, staff. Number five, communication, emails, newsletters, social media posts, flyers on campus, etc. that was not conducted in a timely manner across a few, few VUCA situations. Number six, lack of consistency or an official response by the institution due to co uncoordinated reaction by different departments. Number seven, example, in the face of the anti-LGBTQ plus protest happening in our communities, our universities chose silence, rending, sending a clear message to our international students who were already feeling vulnerable. Number eight, chose to stay silent, not open to learn about other opinions. Number nine, making surface level comments about current events. Number 10, during the recent Palestine crisis, a student wanted to have a strong political stance against Palestine. So as I said before, these are brought by the participants of the webinar, and I think they are really valuable, but also relatable um, situations. Finally, uh, I have a list of resources that I use to put together this presentation. As I said before, I hope this uh, 
PowerPoint uh, slide, slide deck is available to everybody. So you can just click on the different resources that I brought forward. It includes mostly uh, journal articles, but there is also a podcast called Rural Connections. It's from the United States. And this is just one of the episodes. This is episode 19. So I recommend to, uh, to subscribe to it because it comes with a very interesting uh, topics every week, very different, but also um, an interesting way to see how our uh, colleagues in the United States handle all kinds of advice in situations. And uh, I believe this is all for me. Uh, thank you all for uh, your time, for dedicating some time to this, uh, think about these topics. I hope we can learn from each other and move forward uh, in, the, in the future.